Welcome. Today, we're going to talk about the rigid motion of translation. So let's just choose a random point in our coordinate plane. And let's say that we want to move this point at the coordinate 3, 2. One way to do so is to move it in a diagonal line. And this is exactly what a translation is. A rigid motion of translation is just the movement from one location to another. But notice that we could also move that point P into the same location of P prime by not moving diagonally, but moving it at certain units to the right and certain units up. In other words, we can represent a diagonal movement as a horizontal and a vertical movement. So notice that this diagonal movement, we can also represent it as a horizontal and vertical movement, and we're eventually going to get to the same location. So now let's talk about the notation that we'll be using. For translation, we can use capital T. For the pre-image, we always have a coordinate point. And then on the image, in the X component, we have to state the horizontal movement. So we're always going to represent it as X plus the horizontal movement. And then for Y, we have to represent the vertical movement. So the image can be displayed as y plus the vertical movement. We can rewrite this as x plus or minus a, where a represents the horizontal movement, and y plus or minus b, where b is the vertical movement. If a is positive, we're saying that we move into the right. If a is negative, we say that we move to the left. If B is positive, we say that we're moving up. And if B is negative, we say that we're moving down. Let's take a look at some examples. So what we have here, we have triangle ABC. And based on the notation, because we have a capital T, we know that we want to make a translation. And here on the image, we can see what is the movement of this translation. Notice that for X, we're adding to that it's a positive horizontal movement. So we're saying that X is going to get moved two units to the right. And now notice that in Y, we are subtracting three. So we're saying that we have a negative vertical movement. So we're moving the point Y three units down. So what this translation is doing, it's getting every single coordinate point and it's moving it two units to the right and three units down. So let's start with point C. C is defined as negative 2, comma 2. So if we move it two units to the right and three down, then our image C prime will be located at 0, comma, negative 1. Now let's concentrate on point B. B is defined as negative 6, comma 3. So if we move it two units to the right and three units down, our location B prime is going to be located at negative 4, comma 0. Now let's concentrate on A. A has been defined as negative 3, comma 6. So if we move it two units to the right and three units down, our image A prime is going to be located at negative 1, comma 3. Now let's create our new triangle. Now notice that every single point in our pre-image ABC got moved by the same distance and the same direction. And after that movement, we created our triangle A prime B prime C prime, which can be defined as the image of triangle ABC. Let's take a look at another example. So here we have triangle ABC. And by the notation, notice that it's capital T. So we know we want to perform a translation. So notice that in the image, we're subtracting five from X. So we have a horizontal movement of five units to the left. And we're adding three to Y. So we're moving three units up. 
So what this translation is going to do is going to get every single coordinate point and it's going to move it five units to the left and three units up. So let's perform this transformation using the function notation. Let's concentrate on A. We got our coordinate point at 3, 2. So now the image is going to be defined as 3 minus 5, comma, negative 2 plus 3. Because notice what we're doing. For the value of x, we're subtracting 5. So from 3, we're taking away 5 units. And for the value of y, we're adding 3 to it. So from negative 2, we added 3 units to it. So our image A prime is going to be defined as negative 2, comma 1. Now let's concentrate on point B. It is defined as 6, comma, negative 4. So let's subtract 5 from 6. And let's add 3 to negative 4. So now our image B prime is defined as 1, comma, negative 1. Now let's concentrate on C. The location was defined as 4, comma, negative 6. So to define the image, let's take away 5 from 4 and let's add 3 to negative 6. So now our image is negative 1, comma, negative 3. So now we have defined our image, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.